Hello. Yes. Now, uh, this is how far we have gone now. We have done that circuit, and uh, we've done that circuit, the alarm, we've done also that circuit, the security door system. We've also done the electric gate controller. Do we have done the traffic lights controller, big 16 f 876 but on this one now, I have not shown the program in the ladder, uh, LD micro ladder program. This is what we are going to do now. Right, we open here, uh, and then we'll do that. And then uh, later on, we'll do the traffic light controller in using in the roof in the form of uh, IC circuits, the logic circuits. So. Yeah, that will come on the video. This one is going to be very long because yeah, mm, a lot of description there. Right, so for our traffic lights controller, the big version, I open here, and then I open the LD micro ladder program. Here it is, simple program, straight, and then here, file, open. It opens where is it? Here it is, right open it. Here is our program. Now, mm, I'm sure I will remember what I was doing here because I did it this long time ago. Um, supposed to be, I think, uh, when was it? 2012. Maybe. I don't know. Right. Okay. But I have improved it a bit here and there right now. Um, so we have our amber uh, switch here, uh, which is the amber light switch, and the white green switch here in the closed position, and then close it if such that if the amber is on, here is open, the red won't come on. Here is the red output, and then if the green is on, it means the red won't come on. So kind of safety feature so and we are not going to run from point to point here uh, you would have to learn the LT micro by yourself and then yeah you'll be able to read this program uh, well, the one that I've done or write your own but uh, I hope this will help you maybe start somewhere right so I'm going to just spend time on the important areas especially the areas of timing that's where you will be very much concerned about how do you change around the times right the times that are more important is maybe if you decide that maybe the red in the red side time when the all lights are red when it's a uh, cycling is maybe too short you can change around here so this is the red time for side one, two seconds. But yeah, practically because I have actually programmed this uh, this one into a peak and run it as a prototype. I have a prototype. These two seconds, uh, I think they are enough. You can change to three maybe. Yeah, you don't want uh, the red red condition to stay for long. So yeah, two seconds, two and a half to three seconds will be okay now the most important one is the green time this is the timer in the green and this is the time that you can set on here yeah, this is 40 seconds for the green time when it is on you change around here depending on the volume of traffic and the conditions of the road so this is one site number one the green time you can change this one now this one is also the time uh, for the pedestrian to activate uh, they have to wait until they can activate uh, the, 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 the switching time. This is a preventative measure. Remember from our second description, we were saying, no, you can't just switch, come and uh, press the button in anyhow, and then the lights are uh, switching on this side, and then next time they are off. The, yeah, you, don't, you don't want the uh, system to be look like it's confused because you are dealing with cars here 
so we have a delay there you have to allow some cars to go uh, until you can actually allow people to cross so this is the delay time which you can change around if you want now uh, this is the ember time two seconds pretty much okay according to what i have done and then this is the side two the green time also critical you can change around this one depending on the volume of the traffic 20 seconds too much you can reduce it yeah you can just double click it so you see yeah this is 20,000 second milliseconds which is 20 seconds yeah, 1,000 seconds equals to one second so this is all what it is right okay now because we are not learning my LD micro here we are actually just describing how this program uh, you can uh, actually be adapted to uh, suit what you want uh, there's enough literature on the net for that to learn the program it's quite uh, robust uh, program is nice it's uh, good very good for people who are not programmers like me uh, the C programmer I'm not a C programmer so I'm a hardware person like I always say uh, so this is the time for the side to green you can change it around to increase or reduce it I think to a maximum and a minimum I think yeah mm, I've not gone beyond one hour oh. so it uh, wouldn't be a traffic light set, set up if it cost one hour I think uh, yeah, that's 20 seconds for that mm, yeah no more T no more what is uh, no. I think uh, some other times uh, I did this a uh, long time but uh, these small second times are not really it's an uh, amber time okay t1 the amber time to on yeah these are delay timers okay now the other timers that are of importance okay uh, okay uh, not near the flip-flop timers these are the switching of the the, the green light you can change around these times five seconds uh, okay uh, this five seconds actually the is for the time the what the green light is what is is on it's not very flashing so you can change around this one then the milliseconds is the time on and time off time off flip flop flip flop so you can change around here uh, 500 milliseconds to maybe increase the timing or reduce the timing the flashing time or you can play around uh, this program and actually use red as a flashing uh, light you can also use the pulse with modulation uh, function it's there I've not used it but uh, this one way I've done it uh, and it, uh, it works for me uh, there's still enough space, space for, for, for the program anyway so you can do it and uh, then uh, a bit much more clumsy but I think it, it's working so these five seconds I think you can change around and increase so that uh, you can actually have the green light on for some time until towards the the what the ember time so change around here and then you can have the green light on uh, that is the time i was talking about that i made it too short i think five seconds was too short so this time must be maybe 75 percent of the time the green light is on so if this is the side number two you must actually maybe 75 percent must maybe put it at 15 seconds because yes 20 75% 3 quarters of 40 uh, 30 seconds 40, 30 seconds and then starts to flash after 30 seconds something like that so yeah this is the program for the traffic light controller the peak version it's in F876 yeah um, I've bent this program into a 16 f73 straight on and it's working i've 
also bend this program into a 16F886 and it was working no problem I think the memory mappings are the same the only difference is I presume I'm not a peak uh, expert but I think the mm, only difference comes when you are now talking of analog inputs you are talking of other functions that are besides switching on and off the, di the digital switching otherwise these peaks will actually accept some programs uh, interchangeably so the prototype that I'm having uh, is running on a peak 16F73 then the same program on a another one which I recycled uh, it was a board from a, a charger battery charger 48 board battery charger it had a, a big 16F886 I just break out the board find uh, where the pins for programming and then flash out the program that was in there and put in this program it was running it's running it's a prototype that I have running so yeah uh, I did quite a number of play around but um, commercially of course I have not really done this commercial but I have learnt a lot through doing this uh, I have learnt how to program PIX I have learnt how to use a JDM programmer to program this and uh, well because uh, there are other things I have to do I need to stop and then maybe put it aside so now I'm prepared to share with you and uh, I hope this will help you very much and uh, well it's easy it's straightforward the program now I think it's much more becoming usable much more user friendly yeah LT micro stay on the net there's a forum discussion and there's lots and lots of uh, shared programs also there so I've shared this uh, on Google Docs uh, this is going to be shared on Google Docs together with the part one of the same uh, uh, circuit uh, this is the uh, the program uh, part part number two to the uh, to complement the part one that I've done, so yeah, I think uh, this will be okay. Now, uh, I think as always, uh, thank you very much for your time, and uh, usually for comments uh, and other uh, my time, uh, I'll be glad to hear from you. Uh, maybe from what you have done and to remember please uh, safety and use the waste material as much as possible electronic waste benefit is the philosophy and uh, remember the warnings the philosophy where you can use this and the materials that you may need not much of course for these projects but mostly software and feedback or I meet me at gmail.com. Thank you very much. And I hope you enjoy this second part of the traffic light controller. Good day.